So today on Project Shop, we out here in Fort Lauderdale. I think this is behind a, a Publix and a wine store, whatever that is. Uh, but we have a massive pile of uh, HID lights. And there's some big boys back here. Now, someone already gutted some of these. I don't know where the transformers are. And uh, thank God I brought my saws off because we're going to have to cut some of these up on site. And uh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to fit all these. But we're going to try. And we're going to have one hell of a load, man. These are some big boy fixtures. Um, oh, they're heavy. they got to have a ballast in them. Some of them look like thousands. I think the guy mentioned that some of them might be like 750s. But, hey, either way, we got our crap ton of aluminum here extruded aluminum and i'm sure we're going to pull some transformers out of here so we're going to get um set up what we're going to probably do is load these heavier cast ones in the bed of the truck and uh leave these these big ones here for um for the trailer so uh hey where'd that come from just now is there a ballast in there? No, it's wire. Oh. So, yeah, these look like some old crusty lights. But old and crusty is good because old and crusty usually means copper transformers. <laughs> so I'll see if I, I don't know if I brought my time lapse. We're going to bring the, uh, the time lapse out and just see what we can get going, man. Well, there you have it. We have a massive load of lights. Now, unfortunately, uh, someone came and stole a lot of transformers out of these. Uh, the guy said that he had actually had to take some of them out to get them down. Uh, and then he hit them somewhere back here. And then someone came and freaking took them. And then it also looks like someone was back here literally just opening these things up and pulling transformers out. You know, I don't know why they just didn't take the whole freaking light, but I'd say maybe two thirds of them still have transformers. We got glass. We're going to be cleaning up here. We just, I actually broke most of the bigger ones with a thousand watt waters. Uh, I broke the glass over here on the ground just because they were domed out and I needed uh, some compact space. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first we were going to get them all in the trailer, but hey, I could have went all the way back and I could have went up a whole nother layer. You know what I'm saying? So we would have got it all. I'm pretty sure if we would have left anything here. Steve said he's seen some guy drive by eyeballing. Yep. Uh, probably looking to steal some. They might have even stole some. Who knows? Um, but that's, that's what we've been dealing with down here in South Florida is they get these lights on the ground, man. And people just drive by and take them. Don't even ask nothing, man. Bunch of fucking thieves. Making us uh, legit scrappers look like like assholes. That's why people don't like dealing with scrappers because they think they're a bunch of freaking thieves because of people like this. Uh, I'm going to pull up so we can uh, clean up all the glass that's under the trailer. Put some straps on this. Um, probably throw a net over the back of the truck. And uh, we're going to get back to the shop. We ain't going to work on this tonight, but tomorrow we're going to have a HID light party. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
all right we got all that cleaned up we got it all strapped down wasn't much strap in the back of the truck that stuff was pretty much in there but i did throw a strap on it just to make it look nice uh this on the other hand i strapped this together squeezed this whole top layer together and i did the same thing to that squeeze that whole top layer together so it's like one big unit and we strapped it down with lots of x's and lots of stuff so that's a nice little load on the way back from miami we just got done dropping off that uh copper from them big ass transformers i just did so this is a nice little pickup on the way back give me something to do over the weekend they're actually going to have more they got new construction going on over there so they're going to have more coming whenever that construction's done or whenever they got time to do it but but for now this job is going to be done and uh we're getting out of here get back to west palm beach all right we're back at it <clears throat> it's the next day actually it's two days later but uh we got oliver over here and uh we're gonna pull this stuff off lay it out over here i already offloaded that stuff out of the back of the truck yesterday and then uh we're gonna have a little scrapping party we'll get this stuff off and then uh i got a bunch of uh stuff i need to take to the dump on the other side of those lights hopefully we can uh get there before the end of the day for the most part i think these things are going to come apart pretty easy i've done this style before so we're going to get the usual suspects uh cast aluminum extruded sheet some more cast hopefully uh what transformers are left in this lot are going to be double copper you know fingers crossed well, at least we're hoping so i'm gonna get the time lapse up let him uh off start offloading this shit i gotta go in there and uh drop a video for you guys and then uh we're gonna come out here and hit this hard hopefully recover some copper and uh get a nice little load ready for monday and then i have literally tons of stuff i keep trying to get to but it's always i start on it and then you know that freaking copper keeps calling and uh i i gotta kind of put it to the side but we got all this micro scrapping we made more of those cages i'd like to get to those this weekend too we got we got a lot of stuff going on over here and not always enough time to finish it <laughs> so the stuff just piles up you know but these little buckets are heavy man i'm telling you there's some there's some good stuff in there and i got some more out back i've been cleaning up out back so we can start utilizing that space we're gonna uh we're gonna set up a little sandblasting area out there so we can uh sandblast some parts plus i want to sandblast my uh forklift we're gonna start hitting that hard probably next week we just gotta i gotta get this stuff out of my life first now some of the stuff i'm probably just going to off it you know what i'm saying but there's a lot of copper in this mix and it's going to make for some good micro scrapping videos so anyway i'm gonna get time lapse set up on oliver and um i'm gonna get in here and drop a video for you guys Okay, we're moving along pretty good. Now, these domes here, these things are a freaking issue, man. They have steel plates, a steel lip, a little bit of aluminum, and then another steel plate. So, I don't know if it's gonna be worth separating them 
I'll probably just take the hatchet to it maybe. I don't know. Aluminum went up. I might try to hack these off. I think the hatchet will do pretty good at getting this off. But I might just send it as irony aluminum. Because these ones here have even more steel. Like these are heavy. This whole big box is some kind of heavy gauge steel. And just that little bit of aluminum. I don't know. I think that I might slide in there with the irony aluminum and um, add that to it because that has a more percentage of aluminum to steel. This has more of a steel uh, than aluminum. So maybe the two of them together will equal it out. And I won't have to sit here and mess with it because uh, that looks like some tedious time consuming stuff and we're trying to get this we got enough shit going on each one of these unfortunately has um a steel plate that needs to be drilled out see this they got rivets so we got to drill each one of them rivets out and get that steel plate out of there because we can't send that but looking at this i know for a fact that's a double copper transformers these are original for this light because the original ones always came with these nice plates. Well, they're not nice. They kind of suck because i got to bend them over to fit them through the press. But I know out the gate, that's a double copper. And a lot of them uh, with the plates, some are actually just missing some. But all these are original. That's aftermarket. I can tell that looks like an aluminum. That's a three coil. So two coils are going to be copper. One's going to be aluminum. They changed this one out. I could just tell by looking at it. That's suspect. Aluminum, aluminum. And then um, I'm pretty sure, like you can even tell, just looking at the top of that one, it's aluminum. Those ones look like one copper coil, one aluminum. This one's just straight up probably aluminum. One of these was, was just missing. I think it was this one. Yeah, missing. So most of the big lights had the transformers in them. And then there was a couple ones down here that didn't. It's funny, even this, uh, the smaller ones had big, look like thousand waters in there. These ones were missing. Now we do still have a whole stack of heavy cast lights over there. Um, that looks like a, a copper and aluminum, maybe double copper. This one's missing one. So we're going to get a nice little chunk of 1,000 watt transformers out of here. Um, unfortunately, you can always tell when they've changed the ballast out, you know, to uh, repair it. They always put a cheap half aluminum one in there. It's just the way it is, you know. So if you think about it over the years of them maintaining these lights and changing them out they've gone further and further away from the original ballast to cheaper and cheaper ones and especially in the last like five years with everybody changing the led nobody wants to spend money on a high dollar ballast because they just want to cheaply get the lights going because they know they're going to spend money on a whole retrofit you know uh, but because of liability issues, they still have to have the lights lit up. Yeah, it's a dying breed, but uh, we're definitely uh, still still got millions of these out there. You know, I mean, they've been putting these things up for 40, 50 years probably, and uh, they're not just going to come down in, in five years. You know, so we're going to take what we can get while we can, and then gear up towards something else when these totally go away. Now, the lighting maintenance isn't going anywhere. It's just kind of changing to less profitable situation uh, because the LEDs just don't have the copper in them. But we're still going to get some aluminum. I got another customer that's already changing out a bunch of... Uh, I always get a bunch of LEDs from them. So anyway, we're going to get right back on this. Uh, he's clipping wires. I'm going to go unscrew the ballast and then we'll um, get a drill out drill these uh, rivets out and then um we got a sea of glass we're going to be dealing with man we're gonna i'm going to be cleaning up glass for the rest of my life because of these freaking lights 
Um, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, now these lights here, like I said before, I'm not really gonna be paying for these like I used to. Um, so I'll probably give this guy something for these because I know he usually gives his crew some, some of the money. So you gotta keep these guys happy, but you know, they're gonna have to understand that this shit just isn't worth the time anymore, you know? We're gonna uh, just continue cranking on try to get these done before that sun starts really cooking it's already like 10 o'clock i can feel that heat coming on and uh we've probably still got a good two hours out here so we'll be hopefully finished up or at least finished up with this before lunch and we'll get on to that after lunch Okay, we got a freaking mess, but we're getting a good bead on things here and uh, getting a nice little chunk of transformers. Now all the ones like this, I'm almost positive. Yep, I see that aluminum. Whenever you see that yellowish looking color on the coil, Pretty much right away it's going to be aluminum now we already got these stacked up back on the trailer pretty much and i stuffed the little ones inside the big ones to kind of condense it we got a couple more big ones and these here which we can probably stuff some of those maybe i can get two of those in here condense it down because uh, i'd like to continue after we're done this uh, over the weekend Sunday and pull some more scrap out of the shop now all that shit over there and all this shit here is just gonna go as iron aluminum I ain't even messing with that crap man. I don't even know if the uh, percentage is gonna be there on those because these things here this is uh like all this is steel and it's just like little bits of aluminum down in there that's actually going to be pushing it um, before I've done these style before in the past I've just send them a shred to the steel yard we might have to do that with these I don't want to piss them people off in Miami now those there those got enough aluminum I'll risk it and uh you know send them send them on down there to Miami get 15 cent for them huh and then we got a bunch of extrusion down in there bunch over there still got more more transformers to clean out over there but most of those are half half aluminum, half copper. But all these big ones with the original transformers, they was definitely double copper. So we'll get a nice little chunk. Hopefully we'll get like 100 pounds of copper out of it or something. But we're going to clean this up right here right now. And uh, then we got to get on all this right here. 
These are pretty much going to be the same as those. Oh, there's my fucking thing I was looking for. Not too many here. We should be able to knock these out real quick. It's getting kind of warm out. Damn sun. It's up there cooking. I just ate a big old bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. And now I'm like in slow-mo. <laughs> All right, we winding it down. Got a huge pile of glass. Got all the little things broke down. I stuffed just about every one of those things full. And uh, we got enough for the little cast on the back. Uh, I'll crush those down later. Still got a little bit of extruded to recover over there. But uh, man, we did a hell of a job. Now we're just gonna clean this up and uh, get these transformers I had a guy come over. He was over there at that metal fabrication place. He, he came over here asking to buy some aluminum or brass and copper. So I told him he could buy it if he paid me more than I get in Miami. And he was like, okay. Apparently they melt it down and his mother runs it on a CNC machine and makes watch bands or some shit. And uh, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if he's bullshitting or not. But uh, if he wants copper from me, he's gonna be paying a premium. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. It's the next day, and we got like two-thirds of a barrel here uh, some of these are double copper they're all the same width so I don't have to adjust the machine uh, some of these though like this one we're gonna have to put on the table and bend that tab over so that it fits in the machine but other than that these things are gonna go extremely fast it is 1120 on a Sunday. So, uh, Oliver's just gonna start putting them on the table and uh, we're gonna see how fast we can crack this. I'm gonna say there's probably close to a thousand pounds in here. Um, and hopefully a lot of uh, double coppers, some of them I know are not double coppers, but I'm hoping for at least 150, 200 pounds of copper when we're done. So, we're gonna get some fans going. I know that's probably gonna be annoying, but we need some uh, airflow to suck the dust out of the building, and we're gonna get right on it. I'm gonna run this 
we're gonna need another fan here. And uh, we're just gonna get right on it. Transformers are pretty much ready to go. We already got them cut and prepped. So this should go relatively quick. Thanks again for the guy that sent me these gloves. I really like these ones here. Guy. You know how we're all about safety over here. Alright. Oh, we already ready to go. These damn things are too long and they kept smacking up in the air. 
try this again.
Double aluminum. Throw it back in the drum. Is that drum empty? I'll throw it over there somewhere. Get it off the table. Okay. I think I just ran a double aluminum through there. I actually lose money when I run the double aluminum through this machine because I get paid more as is for iron aluminum. Now these, I could tell by the color of that coil, they're half aluminum. But it's got a big coil of uh, copper in there.
you start writing this shit. I'll, I'll get there.
Well, just about done. Just gotta push through a couple more, but we absolutely blew through them. Now, there was a lot of them that had these big steel plates, and I just bend the bottoms over with the hammer, or you could take the whole transformer and just slam it down like that on an angle. It's a little bit more rough on the hands, but the machine will crack it. Even ones like uh, this, where the tab goes actually over the weld, the machine just, you know, you can see where when it pushed it down, it literally just pushes it out of the way. He's on his last two now. 11.53, so that took 30 minutes, 35 minutes to run through about a thousand pounds. Now unfortunately, we got a ton of aluminum coils in here, man, that really sucks. That breaks my heart. <laughs> um, so, that's it, right? All right, we'll uh, try to fit the rest of that copper in here. We'll, we'll get a weigh on that. I'm gonna uh, get the little scale set up. We'll weigh that copper, see how much money we made in 30 minutes. But that's, that's where like most of the money comes from out of these lights, uh, is being able to process them transformers that fast, man. You know, um, me and the original guy that used to work for me, Brian, we would blow through man a couple of drums in uh, um, you know probably two hours or something but, and that's clipping the, we already prepped those clipping the wires and you see what I did where he was putting them on the table and then I stopped them and got him on that second machine um, if you know about how fast you can see it was like literally two minutes of overtime where I was done and he was still running um, what I used to do um, kind of judge how much material is on the table, how much is left. And if you only got two people, you send that second guy to start running those transformers. That way, like if he just sat there and piled them up the whole time, I would have overrun them. And then uh, I'd be done and he'd still be working for a while, you know. So I would always try to time it to where um, we would be done at the same time and nobody's just standing around, you know, with nothing to do. So... Um, yeah, that was pretty easy. And uh, there, I think there was three full-on double aluminums. I caught one of them in the machine. I think I sent one through and I caught this one before it came through. It's hard to tell sometimes, man. You know, you really gotta scrape these coils. Um, and that is very unfortunate. So we'll get this uh, little scale set up and see how much copper we got. No? All right, come on. Oh, I'm gonna say 80 pounds. Oh, 81.6. Uh, so we're just gonna say two pounds on that bucket. We'll say um, 79 pounds. All right, come on. Seventy one, so we'll say uh, sixty nine pounds. All right, get this down. So I gotta look at my ticket, I forget what it was. I think I got three thirty a pound for number two. I better go check. Okay, we had one hundred forty eight pounds. I get 327 a pound as of uh, the other day. So that was uh, $483.96 we recovered in, let's just say 40 minutes. Uh, so let's just divide that by 40. We made $12 a minute processing them transformers. 
That's not bad. 725 dollars an hour now if those were all copper transformers i mean we have that's probably a whole nother five gallon bucket let's say probably that would have probably been a whole nother 80 pounds uh if they were copper we would have made some serious um money and that would have been a third higher but unfortunately the way things are with these uh aluminum transformers man it sucks back in the day when I first started, I'd say I had five or six really good years in the beginning where I rarely ever even came across an aluminum transformer. And then all of a sudden, man, they came in like someone opened a freaking floodgate. Um, so if you go back in my channel, I, I have a video that says how to make $900 an hour processing copper transformers. And... Those were copper aluminum transformers. We were making 700, okay? So if they were all copper, if you factor in uh, the, the fuel, the time to get them, now most of the time I get them in barrels already separated. We don't have to pull them out of this stuff. So I'm just going to pick them up, bring them back here, and process them. Man, I used to make a killing. Like, no, no shit, man, a ton of money on copper transformers unfortunately those days are uh long gone but anyway we got a full trailer it's freaking raining my gopro's getting wet and i got holes in it um anyway we got that trailer ready to rock and roll there's a bunch of uh sheet aluminum cast aluminum extruded aluminum and then i am going to send that as iron aluminum on the back um i don't want i mean I could probably sneak it in there but as old sheet but that percentage is kind of high and uh i don't want to annoy them guys down there so uh it's freaking raining now uh so i guess we're done for the day so we'll be back uh i'm gonna take this down to miami tomorrow we'll get a weigh in on that and uh see what we got on that ticket Okay, so unfortunately, I can't find the ticket for that job, but I do remember, I think it was about $1,200 for the copper and the aluminum, just those aluminum things. Now, those big aluminum boxes in this video, um, these, uh, these things here, um, after I pulled those plates out, there really wasn't much aluminum weight wise it would they were really light sheet boxes they they barely weighed anything them cast lights the smaller cast lights were worth more than all these things you know the, the little ones that we did over here um so it was like i'm pretty sure it was like six hundred dollars in aluminum or something like that um and then that's not including the irony aluminum and the, the heavy steel from the transformers and the plates that came out of there i wind up selling it another time so uh i, I do remember a 1200 dollars figure for the copper and the aluminum and then i'm going to say another 200 on the heavy steel from the transformers the steel plates i did sell as prepared steel so it was like 1400 bucks and you know it took us two days well actually not even like a day and a half you know i guess you could say two days with bringing it back down to miami it only took me and steve like two hours to load that stuff up and then it took me and oliver you know you know a better part of uh a day or like you know probably six hours seven hours to process those crack the transformers and load them back up on the trailer so that wasn't bad it was a little unfortunate that there was a lot of aluminum in that mix and the fact that someone stole a bunch of transformers so there would have been a lot more you know in that job but um i gotta go pay that guy still i'll probably give him three or you know maybe 300 bucks it's it's really not worth buying them no more um you know when you factor in the time of going to pick them up, paying labor, fuel, wear and tear on tools, you know. Um, it's just 
not like it used to when they were double copper transformers. So, if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Man, we got some uh, cool stuff coming up here for you. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. All right, we're back out here with the uh, plasma cutter. Steve's got to put a um, foot jack or trailer jack on here. So uh, we're going to see if this plasma cutter will cut that aluminum. All right, go ahead, man. I'm going to stand back here because, you know, I got my Florida tire on. <laughs> Let's see what she'll do. Do you have any more power? Oh, we're at uh, 16 amps. Let me crank you up to like 30. Oh, well, we're on 110. Hold on. Give you 20 amps. Right. Need more? Yeah. Okay, so the plasma cutter didn't uh, make it through. Can you get that? I want to see how thick that is. Um, but that was a super thick piece of aluminum. Okay. Now, we would have started out with the hole saw to begin with, but someone set the uh, adapter down somewhere. We couldn't find it for two days. <laughs> that little puck yeah that's some pretty yeah pretty stout stuff there man <laughs> 